Representatives from services all over Fort Riley were present at Barlow Theater for the 2nd Battalion, 34th Armor Regiment Readiness Fair. Heather Bronkema, Headquarters and Headquarters Company, FRG leader, explains the services available at the fair. Today we're doing the deployment fair, so we are trying to get out as much information to families as possible. Each FRG is set up to give out um, individual company information, and the battalion itself also gave out information from all the on-post help that we have. We have some financial representatives here, legals here to help with power of attorneys and to make sure that families are squared away on that. We have MFLAC here to let families know that there is counseling help if they need it, not necessarily just in a bad situation, just maybe keep the good good. The more information that families have, the easier it is to get through deployments. The more they know, the more safe they feel, the better informed they are to know that we are here to help them and it's not so scary. First Lieutenant Scott Nordland tells us why events such as this are important. People think of one aspect a lot of times when people deploy and think about the soldiers. Well, you got to think about the spouses back home, and that's what this is about, to brief them up that there's a lot of programs available that the Army has to offer, because it's a nine-month deployment. That's a long time to be separated from your spouse, so we want to make sure that we're good on the home front, because without the soldiers knowing that their wives and kids are taken care of, it's hard for them to complete their duties and do what they need to do to be successful and complete the mission. Knowing that their family members are taken care of in their absence is the top concern of the deployed soldier. Through the knowledge received at the readiness fair, the dreadnoughts know that their families will be in good hands while they're away. Reporting for the 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team, I'm Army Sergeant Will Garrett.